Okay, hello everybody, what is up? This is Eddie and Eddie, and welcome to you at episode 4 of the Ipswich Town Crimo. My thank you to you guys, continued support so far upon the series. I just want to quickly run through the shortlist so far that we have got. If anybody does have any transitions, please do leave them in the comments. Uh, as we, you know, we quickly go through uh, recordings and saves. And by the time you guys probably see this, I'll probably be near the January window. So please do comment any signings, uh, ideas or suggestions or positions that I should look at or players that I should be aiming for, like type of players, what leagues, etc. Um, so we're going to get into the post commentary bit of the episode as we have got quite a few games to go with. So I'm going to go with Plymouth, Watford. Huddersfield, Sheffield Wednesday, Cardiff, Preston are all going. And I might even go with Stoke, Hull and Birmingham all in the uh, post-commentary. And hopefully maybe start in the live commentary with Leicester, Blackburn and West Brom. So we end just for the start of the windows. We've got a lot to get through. Actually, I probably will actually start with the... Um, Stoke, Hull and Birmingham game for the live commentary actually. But yeah, um, see you all then. Okay, so the first game of many. This is the team we decided to go over here for this game here against Plymouth. Hopefully we can try and pick up three points away from where we can continue our very good run of form. Only one defeat so far this season. Let's take on Plymouth. Come on Ipswich. Chance here, boarding from Plymouth. Header is a looping header. And Plymouth take a shock lead. 1-0, Ryan Hardy. A okay, chance here. Leith Davis sees Broadhead. Broadhead now joined down the left side. The first chance apart from the goal of the game. Nathan Broadhead. What a chance this is for Ipswich. And we are level. Only takes that one opportunity. And it's 1-1. One, one. Full time, a 1-1 one, one draw. Honestly, that might have been the worst game I think I've played so far in this career mode. Just in terms of both teams. It's really... Poor quality game. Uh, look at the match facts. <laughs> I think that really sums it up. It wasn't the highest quality of game whatsoever. But a point is fair. Second game here is going to be a home game here at Ipswich Town. As we're going to take on Watford. Watford currently top of the championship at the moment. This is a big fixture hitting both of these sides. I have full faith in us though to hopefully do better than what we did against Plymouth. Come on Ipswich. Let's see how we do against Watford. Side. Great touch here for Nathan Broadhead. Size to cut in. Plays it in the middle. Hutchinson with the strike. And Ipswich with the lead. Great finish there for Murray Hutchinson. Who is doing well to fill in Connor Chaplin's boots. Let's go. One the lip switch. Broadhead does so well. Sees Hutchinson in the box. Who shoots in the near post. Beats the keeper. One the lip switch. What a finish there from Amari Hutchinson for the Jamaican international. Travis Broadhead. Ipswich on the break. Nathan Broadhead. Nathan Broadhead. He's been he's done this against Plymouth. Can he have the finish against Watford? Yes, he can. Ipswich in Dreamland against the league leaders. 2 0 Ipswich. Oh my days, Watford is so open at the back. And Wes Burns now drives in, cuts in. Wes Burns, great save from Hamer. Should be 3 0. Burns wins the ball back. Burns might be in here. Burns for Ipswich Town. What a save from Hamer again. Burns misses another good opportunity to see us 3 0 in front. Another corner kick, Davis. This time to Hurst, and he buries it this time. Ipswich have stunned the league leaders. 3 0. Chance here in, straight at the keeper, rebounds, and a poor clearance in the end from Ipswich, and we've gave Watford a goal back. 3 1. Corner kick here to Watford. Final chance just for the heart, just for the end of the first half. Ball whipped in, headed away for the Twins Abbey. Referee should have blown his whistle now, but Watford going to continue. Ince, 3 2. Wow, Watford have made two goals back, five goals in the first half. Referee, I'd say quite poor referee because he should have blown his whistle as soon as we headed that one away, but Watford are back in the game, 3 2. Oh, Hurst, Burns, Hutchinson. The football here from Ipswich at times is unbelievable. And Ipswich have made it 4-2. Amari Hutchinson 
Gives Ipswich some breathing room. The football, though, the ball from Murray Hudson. Hudson does well to get away from, I believe, Wesley Hoot and just slams that ball in. Chance here for Watford. Ince doing really well. Dennis, game on again. 4 3. This is such a bizarre game compared to the last game against Plymouth, where it was absolutely shocking. This game with the goals galore. Saramentino in down the left side. Saramentino here for Ipswich. Needs an option. Draws the ball in and straight at the keeper. Burn. Hurst. Chance here. Hurst cuts in. Good save there from Hamer. Taylor. Saramentino to seal the game and he has sealed it. Ipswich have beaten Watford. An unbelievable thriller here at Portman Road. And Ipswich have came out on top. Let's go. What an unbelievable game of football. 5-3 Ipswich. Unbelievable. An eight-goal thriller. Let's go. We've had an issue here. Walton wants to leave Ipswich Town, which, unfortunately, we're going to have to agree with is our backup goalkeeper. I was debating whether to give him some football, but unfortunately, you know... Unfortunately, he is now leaving us, which is, you know, upsetting. Very upsetting indeed. Very upsetting indeed. So the next game here of the episode, we've been taking on Huddersfield at home. Obviously, we continue our very good form at the moment of that incredible game against Watford. Hopefully, we can come out a little bit more clear victors. But, uh, yeah, come on, Ipswich. Let's see what we do here against Huddersfield. Oh, what a pass there from Birds. Hutchinson, oh, completely puts it wide. We are all over Huddersfield so far in the beginning 15 minutes. Uh, what a ball that was, though, from Burns to find Hutchinson, but just wide of the mark. Hutchinson, out wide, ball first time. Burns just the one across, Hurst is there. And Ipswich on the half-hour mark. Mate, take the lead and make it 1-0. Hurst with the goal. Let's go. Come on, Ipswich. Oh, chance for Huddersfield. They're in and they've levelled it. Just like that. It only took three minutes for them to level it. And Diara. That's the thing with this Ipswich side as well. Despite we're so good offensively, we can be vulnerable to conceding goals. And this time quite a few times in goal straight away from kickoff and it's 1-1. Chance here, Amari Hutchinson. Hutchinson, Amari Hutchinson. Ah, oh, just wide. Broadhead does really well. Sees Hutchinson in the middle. Chance maybe this for Ipswich. Playing into Hurst. Watch out, this is for Ipswich. It's Hurst who's in. 2-1 Ipswich. Hurst without the double. 2-1. Wigton here from the corner. Headed across goal. And straight in the hands of the keeper. Tier for Huddersfield. Good challenge there, Morsi. But we've given away a free kick in a very dangerous area. This could be a really good chance here for Huddersfield. They can manage to play their cards right. They're going to go for it with Thomas blocked by the wall. And cleared away. Chance here for Huddersfield. Sober Thomas laying it off. Chance. Oh, no. Healy's in. Two all at the death. Huddersfield has snatched a point. And it looks like that's going to be it. And it is a disappointing point. So I've given the contract thing a lot of thought to be able to decide on what to do in terms of who to give contract. I'm just going to go through the players that I have finally decided to actually give extensions to. So Hidelki, we are going to let go at the end of the season. Uh, Twin Zabi, we're giving a new contract to. Cameron Burgess, we're giving a new contract to. Caden Jackson, I probably will give him another year. Aluko, we're going to let go. Walton, we're going to let go. Dominic Ball, I'm going to let go. So, yeah, them are all the contract issues we've got. And I'm going to extend to Nzabi Burgess's Jackson's contract at the club.
Anyway, enough about talking about contract issues. We've now got a game here against Sheffield Wednesday with Ipswich. This team we decided to go with. Come on, Ipswich. How are we going to do away to Sheffield Wednesday? Dink this ball in here with Leith Davis. Ball's dinked in. Find Saramentino, maybe, who hits it. And it found its way in. Won the lip switch. Saramentino with a goal. Come on. Ball here at the moment from this Ipswich side is phenomenal. And ball's whipped in straight in the hands of Dawson. Oh, no. Good chance here. Chance here for Sheffield Wednesday. Good save, keeper. We're still only with that one goal lead. One one, Sheffield Wednesday a level here from the corner. I don't know who that is. He's put the ball in the back of the net. Pedersen with the goal. One one. Sorry, man. It's almost. It could be an Easter response here. Caden Jackson's in. Caden Jackson in for Ipswich. Yes. What a response here to go and be uh, to. You know, the game being level. Caden Jackson, who hasn't had too much of a looking for us, but if he's doing finishing like this, he definitely will be. Love it, Evan Caden Jackson. Ball turned in and a fantastic finish. Anyway, despite the Huddersfield game conceding late on, we don't concede late on in. We managed to hold on for the 2-1 win. Big three points here for Ipswich. Let's go. So without any hesitation, we now get into straight away into our next game here. Cardiff away from home, travelling to Wales. Unfortunately, forced to make a lot of changes due to fitness injuries. You know, I believe we've got three games here in nine days. Come on, Ipswich. Let's see how we do here against Cardiff. Keith Omar just running towards goal. Not really the type of player you want, you know, sprinting down the byline. And so play it on the inside. Oh, it's lovely here. Luongo from distance. Good effort. Good save. Want to hear again a whip switch. Davis, ball in. More header. Tipped over the bar. Another corner kicker again. Ipswich. Davis can more work it out this time, and he can. One nil. Ipswich. Davis so deadly with them corners, and Kifo more celebrates against his former club. One nil. Ipswich. Nathan Broadhead has he got the pace? He skips past the challenge. Nathan Broadhead does so well. Nathan Broadhead going all the way, drilling it across. Oh, cleared away. Edmondson loses it. Mite. Turnbull. 1-1. One, one. Cardiff a level. David Turnbull with the goal. Trying to see Cardiff. Yako Mite. Looking it back. Bowler in the middle. First time shot wide. Cardiff have scored in the 86 minute. Such a weird goal to concede. And as this ended, our 15-game unbeaten run. Cardiff have done what they have done in real life here. 2-1 Cardiff with four minutes left. Can we get the leveller? That's it. Defeat to Cardiff. So in that hasn't really happened to us much in this series so far. Only our second defeat of the season. And Cardiff come out victors. Okay, so we're aiming to bounce back after that defeat against Cardiff. That is team decided to go with. Uh, obviously, a few changes to the team after that disappointing defeat again. Um, yeah, so we're obviously hoping to try and win here against Preston. Preston have done pretty well in this game so far. They've got some good players. Let's take them on. Come on. Al Hahn is actually going to play into Hutchinson. Hudson in the middle. Shot. Goal. What a finish. Amari Hutchinson won the lip switch. Into Hurst for two. Good save. Cross Hutchinson. Into Broadhead for two. Great save. From Freddie Woodman. Hurst. Hutchinson. Harness. Marcus Harness. Two to lip switch. Fully deserved. Freddie Woodman is the one that's made this game stop. Uh, stopped, you know, being three, four, five. He's been all Ipswich in this game, apart from that one chance for Preston. We've done really well. What was that? I... Uh, a huge mistake. 
as Costa's the goal. 2-1 Ip uh, Ipswich still, though, but we've let Preston back in the game. Preston really applying the pressure here. Lays the ball across and they've leveled it. Two all from Preston. Barely having a sniff. They've come back level. Chance for Preston. Oh, my days. Oh, it's squirmed in under the keeper. And Preston have won it. From two goals down to through two. Could this be back-to-back -back defeats for the first time in the season, in the series? Hutchinson plays in Burns. What a chance this could be if it was Burns. Burns sees Davis. Never count him, switch out. Three all. Leave Davis. Come on. We should have won the game, but we do not lose the game. Come on. And that's full time. A three-all draw. And now we head into the live commentary aspect of the episode. Welcome back to the live commentary part of the episode. And yeah, so we currently sit joint top of the championship table two points inside the automatic positions as well but look how tight that table is three points separating first to sixth so we're gonna get in this game here against stoke um away from home this is the team we decided to go with for the game uh hopefully we can obviously try and pick up a win come on ipswich let's see if we can try and do this Kiefer Moore, ball out wide here. Broad, Broadhead, playing in the middle. Travis, bends a shot. Good save. Chance here, Moore, playing in Burns. We found our way through the Stoke defence. Burns is in one-on-one. -on -one. It's Burns. Oh, it's such a poor shot. Burns comes close. Good save, though, from Iverson. Corner kick here again. Davis aims for more. Who this time gets it on target. And better just on target. Find his way in the back of the net. Ipswich lead against the best defence in the league. Chance here. Broadhead lays off to Travis. Travis dying towards goal. Lewis Travis. Shot blocked. Taylor finds Broadhead. Shot blocked again. We've got another corner. Davis whips that ball in. Oh, that's an awful delivery. Try and keep it alive, though. Last chance here. We're going to go with it with Morsi. Just wide. And that is half time. 1 0. Ipswich going the break. Not a game that's had loads of chances, but definitely has been a tight affair. Chance here for Stoke. Haskovanovic drills the ball there. Delki with a save and manages to hold on to it. Chance here for Stowe. Their first shot, really, of the game. And Mamei came close. Free kick in there for Stoke. They're on the edge of the box. Going to go for it. Baker blocked. Rolly blocked again. Stoke's trying to build some pressure. Okay, Jackson is so well. Playing into Burns. Chance. Burns finds the space. Sarantino. Great save again. In the final minute now. It looks like we've got the three points. Jackson. Okay, goal kick. But that should be that. A very good performance here. Despite Stoke really built some pressure towards the end of the game. But I believe we have done enough here. Yep, three points. Let's go. Big win. Come on. Okay, next game of the episode is going to be against Hull City. Hull City doing really poor in this career mode so far. Just with the relegation zone, only 14 points. Um, yeah, so that's not great for them. But obviously, we're going into this game with a fantastic form of that great victory against a very good Stoke side uh, in FIFA. But anyway, big game here against Hull City. We're obviously trying to win again. But they've got some really good players, Hull. So I'm surprised uh, why... 
they are where they are. Oh, Hulsey do so well here. Giles in a Zarore. And Hull City with the leads. Seven minutes gone. I said we shouldn't underestimate them, and they proved that here. 1 0 Hull. Wins the ball here. Burns now just running at the Hull defence, and they're so good at Burns. He does so well. Drews it across. First time shot from Moore. Good save. Hutchinson, Burns. Oh, lovely football here again from Ipswich. Hutchinson. Oh, the football from this side at times is unbelievable. 1-1 one, one, Amari Hutchinson. What a goal from Ipswich Town. Come on, let's go. Down to the hall. Connolly. Seri. Oh, just wide there from Hall. Saore. There from Holland, the middle, and the heady over the bar. Half time, one all. I'm going to make some change even to the break, even though I'm fairly happy with how we're playing, but there's still that, I don't know, sense of iffiness, I want to say. Uh, Hurst is going to come on to place more. Harness is going to come on to replace Broadhead. So, yeah, uh, big second half here. Hopefully, we can try and get another goal and hopefully win the game. Chance of a hole. Philogene shoots near post. Good save. 15 minutes here. Hutchinson coming forward here down the left side. Amari Hutchinson. Good try by Sam Mantino on the far side. What a ball. Sam Mantino. Oh, it's fantastic for Ipswich. Come on, Sam Mantino. But that ball from Hutchinson, a wonderful goal. Come on. Headed away. Rebounds in the middle. They hit it. Blocked. They hit it again and it's wide. Another narrow win, but three points is three points. Back to back wins. Come on, Ipswich. Let's go. Okay, final game of the episode here. We'll be taking on Birmingham City. Obviously, Birmingham fan myself. <laughs> Obviously, I'm still hoping to win this game, though. But uh, it's going to be a challenge. You know, they've got some incredible players, Birmingham. And in all fairness, I don't think they are going to be a challenge. They do have some decently high rated players and. They did come at the back of beating Leeds in the game, so I'm not going to underestimate them, though. Come on, Ipswich. Let's see how we do against Birmingham. Well, Hutchinson, Saramentino, Saramentino, shot blocked. Chance for Birmingham. Dembele! Wow, what a finish from Sarike Dembele. 1 0 Birmingham. State from Birmingham. They give the ball away. Broadhead into Moore. We're darting at the Birmingham defence. Kiefer Moore beats Anderson. Kiefer Moore here for Ipswich. 1-1. One, one. Mistake from Awu. And Ipswich are level. Kiefer Moore. Half time. 1-1. One, one. Not really a game of chances whatsoever. It's been a tight game at the moment. But I believe we're growing into it. And Zamantino. Moore. Blocked, Hutchinson, Morsi, Broadhead. Good save from Ruddy. Chad Sarmentino, Hutchinson hits it on the turn, blocked. Head of Maywu and almost crept its way in. Roberts, Tyler Roberts, oh, does really well. Chance here for Birmingham. Tyler Roberts. Oh, just wide. Full time. We settle for a point against Birmingham. 1-1. One, one. Okay, then. So this is where we're going to end off the episode. In terms of four players that could be leaving us. Hadelke, Wharton, Ball, and Luke. I'm willing to let them all go. Uh, but anyway, this is where we're going to end off. We currently end off top of the league at the moment. Level on points with Norwich. Three points ahead of Coventry. But anyway, must thank you to everybody that has watched this um, 
video on the channel. Thank you all. Hopefully catch you all in the next video on the channel where we get into the January window. Get your suggestions in the comments. Thank you all for watching. See you all soon.